So down here in the arrangement, I have all the same tracks. I have audio one, audio two, audio three, and audio four. As I scroll up and down, the first one's empty. I use my arrow keys to go down to the second track, and I have that filter delay. But here's a curious thing. I have no clip. When I go back to the session view, I have a clip there. Even if this is moving in the arrangement, I still don't have what? A clip. I can see the filter delay effect, but I don't see any media. Okay. Same goes for track four, where I have a MIDI channel, a MIDI instrument. And if I hit the record button here, I can play it. Or if I turn it off, I can go back to the session view and turn it on. But still, in the arrangement, my transport is still going, and I don't have any media at all. Now, a couple of things about the, the arrangement. I have this magnifier that I can pull up and down for navigation, zoom in, zoom out. If I want to open up all my tracks at once, I simply hold down Option, and it gives me all the tracks at once. If I want to close them all at once, I hit Option, and it closes them all at once. I have this very same solo buttons. I have the track very same track record buttons. I have the very same track engage or disengage buttons. And look at here, I have the very same in and out buttons, uh, input, output. I have the very same track delay features here in milliseconds. And I have the returns as well. So there is that. I can close this clip viewer altogether like this. Okay, and the only other thing that, that goes on in the arrangement is this is a loop brace. Okay, this allows me to create a section of time and loop it. But you can see that it seems like it's deactivated and that would be true because the loop brace is activated here. In the next session, I'm going to record something from this session directly into the arrangement, and then we're going to play around with the control bar after that. This is where it gets a lot of fun.